Greetings, beautiful people. Let's talk about why you actually feel like shit when you do a cleanse, okay? Now, when you do a cleanse, okay, let's not forget that you're actually cleaning house, okay? When you do a cleanse, everybody has parasites, okay? And here's the thing. You may have urges, for example, to eat sugar, salts, and all this nonsense. And I'll tell you right now, that is not you. That is the parasites in your stomach, all right? Now, your house is your own world, okay? This is your world, all right? Now, when you clean house, okay, well, there's different ways to look at this, all right? People fast, and when they fast, you're starving the parasites in your stomach, okay? Now, your inner world reflects what your 3D uh, projection is going to be like, okay? Which is why if you have, you know, inner healing that you need to do, uh, you're going to go through some shit. Like even, for example, like, uh, you know, your body purges toxicity while you sleep. Sometimes, like, when you have bad dreams... That's your body literally purging and healing, okay? So bad dreams isn't necessarily a bad thing, all right? Now, if see, this is where you have to really pay attention because if you go to sleep, for example, watching something that stays in your in your mind and then that's where, uh, you know, you start acting it out uh, in, in the dreamlike state because that's where, uh, you know, the... the, the closest frequency and vibration that you tuned into don't forget you're you're like an antenna you turn to a channel you know what i mean you're, you're doing it like you turn a radio station okay but um let's say you didn't watch uh anything and you feel like uh you know you've been eating clean uh you may get nightmares and the reason why is your body's actually uh cleansing and, and purging this is why uh you know, even when, when, when I've seen people do ayahuasca and stuff like that, they throw up because the body purges, it's getting rid of, it's getting rid of garbage, but your body gets rid of, uh, subconscious toxicity, uh, sometimes in the form of, of nightmares, you know what I mean? Uh, it could be, uh, you know, messages and stuff like that, but mainly most of the time your body is always cleansing itself. It's always trying to, uh, get back to its original state only we keep getting in its way and then when our body does certain things like get a fever get sick uh get get inflammation then we get all bent out of shape and think that the, that our body's failing and it's, and it's not is that we're we're fucking with it all right so um you know when you're starving the parasites you're feeling weak uh you're feeling sick okay because you're you're literally aggravating that world that's in you and 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 you need the clean house this is why when children uh are born you know what i mean they, they literally come in here with a clean vessel a clean home it's like driving a clean car you know what i mean uh wh that's why they're always uh so upbeat they, they don't even have to eat food and they're still going to be upbeat you know what i mean they're still going to be jumping around full of energy but we get our energies robbed is because of years of of ingesting shit that that's created these these parasitic this world and here's the thing the collectiveness has parasites because of the way this planet is you see here's the thing if let's say everybody decided to clean their vessel this 3d realm of reality wouldn't even be the way it really is you know what i mean that that's that's the shit you know what i mean so if you feel like shit um you're gonna aggravate the world inside of you and this is what's gonna happen outside of you you're gonna start uh noticing aggravated people outside of yourself and i've noticed this because there's moments where if i'm eating shit i'm i'm literally like comfortable like i'm not I'm like not my body's comfortable like i don't want you to get me wrong but i don't see any anybody aggravated in my world i, I actually see people look like like they just had a full meal and, and they, they're they're happy you know what I mean? I may see a bunch of lazy people too. Like they're just chilling. But then when I'm cleansing, literally I'll start to see this outside of my of myself. It's, look man, and here's the thing. It sounds crazy, but you gotta, if you pay attention to this, you'll start noticing these things. Okay? This is getting to know yourself. Part of getting to know yourself. Because you see people, like when you ask somebody what is really getting to know yourself, you know what I mean? 
They don't realize that it's literally, um, you know, sitting in a dark room, talking to yourself, uh, you know, spending time with yourself, uh, you know, your time is energy. You're 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 here on time. You know what I mean. You you spend time with with a, with your with your partner to you know strengthen that relationship to get to know that person. You know what I mean. So you you know you doing that with your body is you part of you getting to know yourself. But part of getting to know yourself as well is noticing, uh, you know, different energy changes based on certain things that you do with your body. You know what I mean. Or if your body's getting a certain uh. Uh, problem like uh, inflammation, fever, uh, you start to notice you get more mucus. See, I'll start to notice that if I eat something I'm not supposed to eat, my nose will start running. You know what I mean? So this is really, really deep when it comes into getting to know yourself. But on an even deeper level, you'll start to notice that if you start to do certain changes um, in your diet, you'll start to notice that the people in your environment are going to start acting a certain way. All right. Now, it's pretty fucking crazy, but check how this works because it all ties into like even the law of attraction type of shit. Now, like attracts like, right, to a certain extent. But let's say, for example, um, you know, my inner world, just because I am, am fasting, right, I'm going to be hungry because I'm not, you know, I'm not used to fasting, let's say, and then I'm going to feel weaker. So my body is literally by auto autopilot is it's like tuning itself to a certain frequency so those are the people that you attract in your outside environment you know what i mean so things like that when you start to notice uh and start to really put your mind to things like that you'll start to uh learn how to act accordingly because here's the thing your intention to cleanse and clean your vessel out is to vibrate higher to be healthier to be more vibrant um to have a clean vessel but See, during this process, this is why you actually uh, fuck up. And I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> because, one, you uh, stoop to their level and you start arguing with them. All right? So you're on a mission to climb up the frequency ladder, yet you allowed something outside of yourself to, uh, for you to drop in your frequency level and stoop to their level. And, two, when, um, when you talk to people, let's say, um, you know, you could talk to somebody who's down, uh, you know, there's going to be people who are toxic and they start to want to talk to you about their problem and stuff like that. You always want to counteract that with a positive rather than, because then you're going to feed into it. You, you just tuned into their frequency. So it's either they come up to your level or you go down to their level. You know what I mean? So if you're vibrating high and somebody comes up to you and starts talking about somebody toxicity, see, it's your decision because your decision base is based on what your outcome is going to be. So if you go and you stoop to their level, that's what you're feeding into and you're just draining your energy there. That's why it says you're feeding into that. But instead, what I'll do is I'll talk about, I'll change the subject and I'll talk about something positive. This way, instead of me Coming down to their level, you bring them up to their level. It's like if I go to a hypnotherapist and I have problems, do you think that that hypnotherapist is stooping to my level? On the contrary, they're trying to bring me up to their level. And where, because they're not, see, hypno, hypnotherapists, what they do is they they guide your mind. They don't, see, people think that hypnotherapists control people. They don't, they guide you. You know what I mean? But then it could also be a form of control. It depends on the malevolence or the benevolence of things. So when you're, Let's say, for example, watching TV, you see the, the, the powers that want to be or whatnot. See, they're doing it in a sense to for control. So they're, th that's where the mind control uh, uh, thing comes into. But, you know, hypnotherapists, um, you know, it's not about like controlling your mind. You know what I mean? They, they're more of like they, they'll guide you in the right direction. So they're, they're kind of like pulling you up from that low frequency that you're at because you're you're there for a reason. Excuse me. So here's why it's important to. Uh, literally before you do, uh, let's say, uh, uh, parasite cleanse, it's good to clean out your colon. That's, that's the reason why it's important to clean out your colon first, because when you clean out your colon, you're going to clean out the bacteria and the toxins out of that, out of your stomach. Um, that that's pretty much destroying, uh, like if there's an army in there, you're crippling them. You know what I mean? And then, um, you know, you want to start to clean out your organs, like your kidneys, uh, your liver, and then after you do the liver flushes, uh, you know now now you're you're starting to get the organs now in harmony to their natural state because that's why they call them organs. They all emit a certain frequency, and your colon is is uh, is one of the most important organs. That's where they inhabit, uh, you know, their colony. Let's say so. Once you start crippling that, now you want to start to clean house. And when you clean house, there's also a very important method to this because when you clean house, 
um, you got to make sure you know how to how to look up how to do enemas. And the reason why is because let's say, for example, you're taking parasite cleansers. See, here's the thing. This is why they call it a fast. Um, when you're when you're fasting. OK, these parasites are like now they're, they're panicking. You know what I mean? And what's happening is they're trying to rush out of your ass. And if you don't have a, a functioning running colon, what's going to happen is that they're not going to come out through their through your poop. You see, your poop is going to be like their vessel, like their spaceship to get out of that portal, which is out of your asshole. And if if, if there's no available spaceships, they're going to end up dying and it's going to cause an infestation because you see when they die, they release a chemical uh, and, and a hormone that's going to that, that, that that's literally toxic and it's going to make you feel like shit. OK, so that's why it's important to first before you clean house, make sure that you have enough available vessels. All right. Uh, shit. OK. And that there's enough uh, conductors, let's say there's enough conductors to drive that shit out. And, and you got a smooth passageway, you know what I mean? So that they slide out and they're not in there, uh, uh, you know, crusting in between the uh, the crevices of your colon. So it's a good, you know, analogy to, to start using this. But um, after that, man, you know, you know, throw the fire on them motherfuckers, man. And, and, and fucking, you know, kill them all. And and now you're going to throw the tsunami in there. You're going to fucking wash them motherfuckers out with that enema. You know what I mean? Uh, they don't like cloves. And, and, you know, when you do coffee, it like stimulates the organs to, you know, to, to get that quick start. You see, when you take coffee through your mouth, you get really uh, upbeat. You know, you start to fucking, you know move faster your brain works better right so it's like the same thing with the organs you see when you throw the organ uh the coffee up up your uh your your you know you do the, the coffee enema now you're going to start to uh clean out the parasites like let's, let's say if you're doing a, a parasite cleanse um it prevents them from dying inside of you like let's say for example um a couple of them didn't make it to a fucking uh, a shit vessel then what's going to happen is that you take that uh, tsunami and you throw it up in that motherfucker and they're all just gonna fucking slide out and wash out all right you, you're gonna create you're gonna create uh your own mudslide uh in there you know what i mean uh so yeah that's it i wanted to make this quick video as to why you may be feeling like shit it, it's a really good analogy to look at um you know that's why probiotics prebiotics prebiotics of course is the food for the good bacteria in there so um you know and when you do these cleanses of course you want to populate your body again with good bacteria so um you know and, and here's the thing don't go back to eating like shit because all you're going to do is populate the shit with garbage again anyway you know what i mean um and just just make sure that you keep your body clean you're drinking distilled water now it's the perfect time to drink your urine now your urine is going to come out like the purest water you can have because now you cleaned out all the garbage out of your colon so this is actually uh very important to look at it all right uh i'll make the the video on uh you know i'll be talking about the urine and and all that and and all this other and all this other stuff i'm gonna make the video next uh so you know stay tuned and we'll talk soon hopefully this answered your questions uh if you like this video like share and subscribe that definitely helps out a lot i'm trying to spread the good word you know what i mean so we'll talk soon.